Now, let's say I've got a really strong upstream wind and I want to make a roll cast. I'm okay to lift the line like this, absolutely fine, because the wind's just going to act like a sail on that line, okay? But when I come to make the forward cast, it's going to be the opposite of when I had a strong downstream wind or a tailwind. So all I'm going to do is going to keep the rod high, that's no problem because the wind's going to blow upstream and fill that line like a sail. But if I make a high forward cast like that, it's going to blow upstream back into my face. So it makes sense that I've got to drive the line down to get it back onto the water. So let me show you what happens. Nice, big high back cast, no problem, no problem. And then drive that line down. And what I'm looking for is the last foot to two foot of fly line, the leader and the fly, to land first. I do not want the fly line in the air and then floating down because it'll just blow back in my face. You can make a nice high D loop like this, no problem, the wind's filling it, but make a very powerful low trajectory forward cast and fire the tip of that fly line down onto the water. Just like that. Get that line and that fly out of that wind straight away. That's a roll cast with an upstream wind. Now, what about if we're on the river and we've got a strong upstream wind and we want to make an overhead cast? Or we're on the bank of a lake and we've got a strong wind blowing into our face. This is the one that tends to get people. It's a difficult one to do. Well, it's the reverse of when we've got a tailwind. With a tailwind, we kept the rod low and punched it into that wind, which is blowing that way. Well, if the wind's blowing this way, we're fine to make a nice high back cast because all the wind's gonna do is keep blowing it and keep tension in it and keep it nice and straight. So we've not got a problem there. The problem comes when we try and fire the line into that strong wind, the forward cast. So all we're gonna do is make a nice high back cast and then fire the line down onto the water on the forward cast. Simple. Nice high back cast, no problem. But then fire the line down and get it onto the water nice and quick. All you're changing is the crossbar of the trajectory. Okay, we've got a nice low pickup, nice high back cast, but now we're gonna change the crossbar instead of it pointing level or even up on the forward cast, we're gonna drive it down. Now a quick tip, don't drive it down like that too aggressively. You're just gonna drive the line into the water and scare the fish or snap the rub. Use your eyes to look where you want the tip of the fly line to end. Nice high back cast, down. There's no point making a, an aggressive forward cast and getting it onto the water and beating the wind if it scares the fish. Nice high back cast, get it down onto the water. Show you that again. Nice high back cast. Get it down onto the water. That's casting with a strong face wind or a head wind.